72 hours to go. This presidential race is coming down to the wire. So let's get a perspective from the left and the right. Let's bring in our panel. Kelly Hyman is a Democratic strategist, and John Fund is the national affairs reporter for the National Review. Welcome to both of you. Uh, John, real quick, I, I mean, we, we're seeing a lot here. What, the, what message does President Trump need to make in the closing days for this, uh, this election? Well, the economy is bouncing back. Uh, the pockets that aren't are basically in states that have continued their lockdowns, uh, especially where I'm living in New York. Uh, the president needs to emphasize that the economy is roaring back, and if you want to continue that and not slow it down with Joe Biden's job killing taxes and regulations, his reelection is the way to go. Yeah, no, but here's, let me follow up on that. If, if um, Joe Biden is out there saying, hey, we're going to repeal Trump's tax cuts, we're going to tax you more, we're going to take away this, we're going to reimpose these, uh, you know, Iran deals and things like that, are, are people going to say, like, wait a minute, that didn't work? Look, people look towards the future. They don't look towards the past. And what the president has to say simply is this. We had a great economy coming into the coronavirus. As we re leave the coronavirus, and we will do so in a few months as vaccines come online, the question is who will bring back the economy best? Leading economists will tell you the one thing you don't want to do to thwart an economic recovery is raise taxes. Right. And Joe Biden is simply not telling the truth that taxes will only go up for those earning over $400,000 a year. Mm -hmm. That is clearly demonstrated that it's not going to happen and taxes are going to go up for a lot of Americans. That's not the way to have right. an economic recovery. Yeah, no, so Kelly, you know, you're, you're a Democrat. I want, I, I, are you concerned after the polls were proven wrong in 2016? And what, what should be Biden's carrying message in the last 72 hours? You know, the polls, there's always some margin of error. So that's why it's important for people to get out and you can't rely on the polls. Having said that, I think that American people I'm glad um, you said that. have to think, are they better now than they were four years ago? And the answer is no. And they have to also think about um, the future and who's going to lead our country and who's going to unite our country and not divide our country. President Trump is dividing our country, not uniting our country. And in regards to the, the tax, um, Trump has increased the taxes for the corporations and, and, and lower the taxes for the corporations, which has created um, either um, a one trillion to two trillion um, dollars. Yeah. And so Biden is going to help the economy and, and move it forward. But Kelly, I want to follow up with that. That poll, that question was just polled. Are you better off than you were four years ago nationally? And 56 percent of people did say yes. Right. And I, I would disagree with that. Most most of the viewers are, are not. And there's always a margin of error, um, you know, with polls. People are struggling personally, professionally, financially. Um, we look at the economy. We are in a recession. People uh, don't have health care. Um, with the Supreme Court and uh, coming up, there could be uh, no more uh, Obamacare anymore for people. And those are going to affect people with pre-existing conditions. Uh, Trump has no health care plan. He's had three and a half years. And he ride was riding on the coattails of Obama in regard to the economy. So, uh, John, I want to talk to you about the economy, though. 33 percent in this V-shaped recovery comes back. Is this enough to say that, hey, you know, a vote for DJT is going to carry us on for more years, four more years of 33 percent? Well, no, obviously this is re making up for a lot of lost productive capacity because of the lockdowns. Uh, the key, though, is the building blocks are in place for a strong recovery. And, you know, Kelly mentioned, of course, the corporate tax cuts. Well, she mentioned the term $1 trillion. That happens to be just the amount of money that, because of those tax cuts, U.S. corporations brought back from overseas. That money had been frozen overseas because of the high tax rates, and it finally reached back to the U.S. shores because the tax cuts were put into place. So she's exactly right on the number, $1 trillion, $2 trillion, but that's money that flowed back to the U.S. because of the tax cuts. Yeah. So real quick, Kelly, i got about 15 seconds. Your prediction for Tuesday. Uh, my prediction is, is Biden wins. Okay. John? I don't do predictions. Okay. Well, I do, and I think it's going to be a MAGA victory. Thank you guys very much for both being here. I appreciate it.